Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published lesson 1 where I have introduced you to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation and also I have teached you how can you download and install latest version of Tricentis Tosca 16. So this is our lesson 2 where I'm going to teach you how can you create your workspace by using Tricentis Tosca 16 and then how can you import SAP subset. That means Tricentis Tosca provides you some of the subsets, predefined modules that are required for the SAP applications. So how can you import those base subset and then how can you export any kind of base subset from your system to shared repositories. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay. So creating workspace. So as soon as you install your Tricentis Tosca 16, it's first step to create workspace so that you can start automating your SAP application. For that, first you need to download SAP Testing Specialist Level 1 based TSU from Tricentis Academy. I'm going to show how to download this Tricentis base subset uh, shortly. And this base subset contains pre-created artifacts which will be relevant for your lessons. That means pre-created artifacts that you can reuse to automate your test cases. And then we will be selecting type of repository and then name your new workspace and use the workspace template by selecting .tsu file I have specified in the first step. And I'm going to teach you how can you import and export any kind of subsets. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these activities by using Tricentis Tosca 16. Okay. So this is my uh, Tosca commander. I just clicked on Tosca commander. You can see the home page looks like this. And then to create workspace, first we need to download SAP testing specialist level 1 base TSU. I have already downloaded the subset for SAP testing special specialist level 1 base TSU. So this TSU comes along with your Tricentis Academy. So if you go to Tricentis Academy, you register for the Tricentis Academy and you can see all the lessons related to SAP Testing Specialist Level 1. So you can find the TSU in the Academy. Okay. And whenever you install Tosca, the standard base TSU, the standard base TSU comes along with the Tosca installation. So that standard base TSU contains all the reusable functions like opening browser and then uh, navigate to URL um, and other functions related to um, browser, right? So all these reusable functions are readily available. Like if you want to handle PDF files, if you want to open an Excel sheets, right? If you want to handle compare uh, the PDF files. So all these uh, reusable functions are, are readily available in standard TSU, standard base TSU, which comes along with Tricentis Tosca installation. Okay. So this is SAP testing specialist base TSU. Okay. You need to download this base TSU before we create workspace. So now to create workspace, you need to click on create new. As soon as you click on create new, <laughs> It opens a create new workspace window and you need to select type of repository. 
So type of repository, you have different types of repositories. But for this lesson, we are going to use create single user workspace. When you select none, that means I am creating a workspace that is used by single user. In real time, you will you can create a workspace that is shared between the teams, right? So for now, I'm going to select none and then create single user workspace. And this, where does this workspace to be stored in your local machine? So in my local machine, C under, under C program, uh, C drive, Tosca projects, I'm keeping, I'm not changing anything here, okay? And here, you need to specify the name of your workspace. SAP Automation Tutorial. SAP Automation Tutorial. So this is my name of workspace. Now, you need to select your workspace template. When you click on this checkbox, as I told you, standard base set standard dot tsu is being selected by default okay because standard base set is provided by tricentis tosca along with the tosca installation but now i don't want to use the standard base set i want to use another base set that i have downloaded from tricentis academy so if you go here i already downloaded so here, this is my path. Let me put the path here. Okay. Under this, I can see base TSU. That is SAP testing specialist base TSU. Click on open. And then click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, it starts creating your new workspace. <laughs> So, importing workspace template. That means what it is do, what it will do from the base subset, it impl imports all the test cases sections that are, I mean, all the test cases readily available in test case section and all the modules that are readily available in module section. And it comes with predefined, as I told you in earlier uh, slide, it comes along with the predefined, see, pre-created artifacts. There are some artifacts that are created by Tosca, which we can reuse them, right? So that's why we are importing. If you see under test case section, so regarding all these sections, right? I have already explained about test case section, modules, requirement, test case design, right? In my previous video sessions like when I was actually covering the Tosca concepts for web automation, web application automation, normal web application automation. Okay. You can visit uh, those videos. So the link for the playlist is available in the description section. Okay. And if you see here, there are some predefined artifacts like standard modules. You have all the standard modules. Under standard modules, you already have T-Box engines. As I told you, here, there are some reusable functions that are already available. I can see open URL, close browser, and under SAP, this is what we need, okay? Under SAP, there are some modules they already captured. That means there are some controls that are captured for, from your SAP application, okay? Anyway, I'm going to explain about all these modules, how we to uh, how we can capture the controls of your SAP application and then how can you create modules. All these concepts I'm going to explain you in the upcoming sessions. Okay. For this session, we have created our workspace. Now, what if, see, let's say you modified these modules, right? And if you want to export your subset, what do you need to do? See, if I want to export this subset, right? Let's say I want to export the subset. These two together as a new subset. So let's assume, see what I'm telling. I have, I'm creating, I'm capturing some more modules or some more controls of my SAP application. And I have defined lot of modules by capturing the controls. Now, if you want to share your subset, 
you need to export the subset so that the exported subset can be used by your team members. So how? You just select the go to module section, select the module that you want to export and click on export subset. And then name the subset and click on save. What it will do? It is going to export all the modules from this subset. All the modules that are available in your system. So that your team member can directly import these modules and start creating test cases. Simple. So the test cases are created or the test cases are automated from the modules. Okay. So I'm going to explain all these concepts in the upcoming sessions anyway. Okay. So if you want, let's say you have a uh, another team member who created lot of modules that are required to automate your test cases. Then what you need to do, you have to import subset. Take the subset from your team member and then click on import subset and then download from your system. That's it. All the modules of your team member will be coming to your system. Okay. So it's pretty easy. Okay. So what are these modules and test cases and all these things we are going to uh, understand clearly in our up upcoming sessions. I'm going to teach you how can we create test case structure and then how can we create uh, test steps and then how can you provide test of values and then how can you basically use these modules to create or to automate your test cases. Okay. And then we are going to understand how can you trace the requirements by mapping to your test cases and then how can you perform execution by using execution lists right all these concepts i'm going to teach you in the upcoming session i'm going to post almost 20 to 30 youtube sessions okay so if you have any queries uh, you can leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concepts of creation of workspace by using latest version of Tricentis Tosca 16 and then how can you import or export the base subsets that you have created or that has been shared by your team members. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.